Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Unconditional love. Somebody wants to come back around collective. Somebody's in love with you. This is somebody who discarded you. Um, they treated you like, I mean, they just kind of left you on the wayside, like an empty can of soda, right? Um, yeah, they treated you like you were nothing. Now they're in love with you. They want to come back in. You could be seeing a lot of repetitive signs, um, one, 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 two, 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 or signs in like um, synchronicity, right? All they're doing is fantasizing about you. I feel like, um, and they're trying to keep it a secret, but this is like a lot of daydreaming about you, okay? I'm sorry. I'm like caught up in this person's passion for you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're um, doing nothing but daydreaming about you. I feel like it's the only thing that makes them happy is when they can, um, I don't know, it feels like an altered state of reality. But you're actually, yeah, because you're leaving. You don't have anything to do with this person. All, it, all this is is a dream. They're, uh, they're fantasizing about you, and it's very passionate, lustful fantasies about you, okay? Um, and you're leaving them behind. I'm seeing you turning your back. You're like, nah, -uh, nope. Some of you could be celibate. You're not interested in passion right now at all. Um, but you're feeling this emotion off of your person, okay? You can feel this person, um, I don't know, they're getting turned on by their own fantasies about you, and you can feel that. Yeah, they're pulling on your energy hardcore. You can feel this, definitely. So you're going to have a, you're about to have like some kind of moment that kind of, um, I, it feels like it's overwhelming, okay? Yeah, it just, it's, it comes over you like a wave, all right? And you're going to know that this person, they're having some kind of passionate, lustful fantasies about you. Um, they may pop into your head, like that kind of image of you two. And you're like, where did this come from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that. They're pulling on your energy really hard. And you know it, but you're, you're trying to walk away from this connection. You're done. You're ascending. You're leveling up. You're upgrading in your life. You're moving on. You could even be making a house move, a location change. This person over here, they're praying, yeah, I only talk to God when I need a favor. That song keeps coming up. Um, it's come up several times now in the readings. Yeah, and, and the the. Words that they keep showing me are, um, please don't let me lose her. God, I need a favor. Please don't let me lose her. Okay? So they're praying for help here. They know you're walking away. They can feel you wanting to leave this relationship or this situation behind. They can feel you disconnecting. They know that you're moving on without them, and they don't want you to go. They don't, they don't want to lose you, okay? And they're, they are praying. I feel like this person is watching you. They're watching you a lot. Um, whatever it is that you're posting. See, there's something about their energy. When they have these thoughts about you, you can hear it or feel it, okay? You can feel it. It kind of stops you, okay? Like you are done, but you know that um, maybe you're feeling watched or you're feeling like um, you could even feel as if somebody's touching you. That I've experienced that before. Like I've felt tingles right on my lips, like when they are thinking about kissing me, that kind of thing. Okay, that could be you. You could be feeling some kind of tingle or it could be giving you goosebumps. You are um, over this connection, and I feel like you just want this person to release your energy, okay? You're releasing them, and I feel like you don't, you don't like this pull. You don't like the distraction of the energy that you're going to be feeling off of. Or, yeah, you're going to be feeling that energy off of them. 
You don't like it, though. You want to complete this cycle. Yeah, they're um, having irrational thoughts. I, uh, they are. They're having irrational thoughts. Um, and I feel like they're, um, I don't know, for some odd reason, they think they can manifest you back in. Or they, they could be asking Spirit for um, a miracle, and Spirit could actually be denying them of that miracle. Because I feel like you're being, you're being divinely led and compelled to move forward, okay? You're being guided forward. And um, I feel like you're going where Spirit wants you to go, but this person does not want to let you go. They don't. I feel like this is... A cycle that's come to a completion. They want to come back around. Yeah. What does he say in that song, you guys? I actually don't know the song. I think it's Jelly Roll that sings it. I only talk to God when I need a favor. And something about... How does he say it? How would I think that God will grant me a favor if I never pray to God. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what he's, the, the dude says in the song. I don't know all the words, though. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I feel like spirit is denying them of intervention. This person, they, they are in love with you. They're having a lot of um, very hot, passionate fantasies about you, okay? <laughs> um. But spirits, like, you know, number one, you can't come towards the collective with all of that passion because you're over that. You don't, I feel like you don't want it. You have no interest in that. Interest, interest in that. And um, you could very well be celibate. And I feel like they, they could have left you feeling used in the past as well. And spirit doesn't want you to feel that way. Like, that's not going to work, okay? And if they only... If they only talk to God when they need a favor and they're realizing now that they can't let you go, spirit, I feel, is denying them of that miracle, okay? Spirit denies them of a miracle. Yeah, you're triggering this person all over the place, okay? Yep, they're going to be feeling lost. Spirit is, is cutting this person off. They're, they're blocking them. They are blocking their path maybe towards you. This, this is a masculine energy, I feel, who's fallen from grace. They may even still be in a karmic situation or they have just released themselves from a karmic situation. They have a lot of anxiety because this karmic may be wanting revenge on you, on them. Okay. Um, there's a karmic who wants some kind of payback. And here's the thing. You don't want a part of it, and the divine doesn't want you to be a part of it either. It's forbidden. It's forbidden. Even if this person, um, they are totally in love with you, okay? Okay. They can't stop thinking about you, but I feel like the divine is forbidding either one of these people from coming back in, I've got to say. And it's triggering your person, okay? It's triggering them to feel lost. It's triggering the karmic um, because she knows that you're protected and she wants revenge and she can't, she can't get it on you. She's trying to stir up some kind of chaos and drama and, um, and she can't. Because you're the Holy Grail cup of love. Because you're, you're being protected here from both of these people. Okay? Yeah, she's, um, she wants revenge, but spirit won't let, the spirits, it's forbidden. They can't come anywhere near you. You're picking up on the energy, but it's not stopping you. It's not slowing you down. Okay? escape. I feel like you have escaped a karmic situation. You just want to get away. Spirit is keeping these people away from you so that you can start a new cycle. You're focusing on your money right now. Um, working really hard. You could even be um, like spirit could be urging you to move to a different location right now or maybe even just take a vacation for yourself. Okay. 
I feel like they're keeping all of this karmic riffraff away from you, Collective. Um, yeah, see, and there's that lust. Hey, but your spirit or your your masculine is like burning up, okay? The fur and the further away you get, the more intense they feel that passion. I'm hearing, um, t yeah, time's not healing anything. Baby, this pain is worse than it ever was, right? There's a flame they can't put out. Um, it's Rascal Flats. Come wake me up is the song that I'm hearing. Something about the, the passion... Um, the um, passion is burning like a flame. I don't know. I don't remember all the words. You may want to look it up, though. That's the song that they're giving me for this. Yeah, the further away you get, the more this masculine wants you. Okay. The longer this stays in in like in silence, the more this masculine wants you. The more they're lusting after you. They want to come towards you so bad, okay? But I feel like the divine won't let them. I feel a split here. I do. Yeah, and the karmic, I feel like she's, she's, um, she's pretending, possibly. She may come up with some kind of plan to communicate with you. This karmic may send you some kind of message, but she's going to possibly be pre pretending to be your person. Don't fall for that. I don't think you will. Okay? But yeah, she's going to try to... I don't know. She's got some kind of plan to be fake. I feel like she's about to message you somewhere on the internet. Um, comment on one of your posts or send you, I don't know, send you something through your social media. I'm um, saying it's from your person, but it's not. So be aware of that. Yeah, I feel like she's going to say, can we just compromise? Can we, can I meet you? Can we talk? I feel like she's going to be pretending to be your person. But here's the thing. She doesn't realize that you don't want anything to do with this person anymore. You're leaving them behind. You don't like the distractions. So I don't think it's going to work, okay? She may even say she's got a proposal for you, that she wants to make you an offer, a commitment. Please meet me, and she's going to pretend to be your person. I feel like you're going to ignore that. You are. You're going to be like, no. Nope, nope. Yeah, because I really feel like you're being sent a lot of downloads, a lot of messages. You're going to be um, using your intuition that this isn't, this is fake, okay? Yeah, you're not going to allow that to happen. It's fake. It's just a karmic. Yep, you're going to realize that right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be fooled by this karmic's plan, okay? I feel like spirit will um, give you some kind of message or uh, some kind of red flag. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like she's trying to fool a high priestess. Yep, and she's on the verge of doing this. So this is the this karmic is about to message you, but she's going to be pretending it's your person. It's not your person. They're stuck. They're in a mental prison, doing nothing but thinking about you, unable to reach out to you somehow. They're praying for a miracle, and the divine is denying them of that miracle. They're denying them of any divine intervention in this. There's a definite split here. And you're moving on. I feel at this point, with these people from your past, um, it's forbidden to be messing with you anymore. Okay? But just know, both of these people are absolutely obsessed about you. And it's all because this masculine is in love with you. All right? And whatever this karmic is about to do, she's trying to trap you. She's trying to trap you by making you think that this message is from your person. Okay? So, um, yeah, be aware of that, you guys. Beware of this message. All right? 
I, I feel like you're just going to instantly know it's not from your person. <laughs> like, I kind of want to laugh about it because, yeah, you're going to know right away. Land of Milk and Honey. You've got new things coming to you in the future, okay? Um, this is the Ten of Cups in this deck. This is the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. You've got the Land of Milk and Honey. You're, um, this is uh, ultimate wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, love, a family in the future. You've got um, somebody who's going to be honest with you, who's going to have your back who's going to protect you, defend you, be there with you, and help you to grow um, ten pentacles. This is the most pentacles you can have in the deck. This is a whole pile of money. Generational wealth. Okay? You have put in so much effort into this connection and into yourself. Okay? But now, with a ten here, this is a cycle that's closing out. I feel like it's draining you if you were to if you were to keep trying to hold this down right in this connection it would drain the crap out of you collective so I feel like um, you've been patient long enough you've been flexible long enough and it's time um, for you to get ultimate wish fulfillment you know I feel like spirit is pointing you in a new direction okay yeah this never-ending story, once again, we have another, another 10. It's coming to an end. Yep, and it's time to um, be ready to receive new things, okay? Be ready to receive these blessings. I feel like they're gonna, the blessings are going to come to you in threes. There's something important about these three stars. Okay, so love money, success, I don't know, whatever it is that you that is going to make you happy in the new cycle, that's what's coming in. And I feel like, it, yeah, there's three big things specifically that are coming in for you. All right? Because the universe is balancing these scales. The, your life is about to get balanced out. Your money is going to be balanced out. Your love life is going to, there's going to be, be balance in your love life because you're going to get new love. You know, I feel like some of you are just so exhausted. Look at you. You're drained. You're, this, this connection has left you feeling pretty spent, you know, um, because you never got anything reciprocated. You didn't get that beautiful, loving energy reciprocated. And this masculine never came forward to even give you the truth. So I feel like time is up on this. If you notice, you're sitting on top of this, um, what do they call it? This little bottle thing here, right? Um, hourglass. Time is up. Time's up, and it's the end to a cycle. Get ready. Look, you're going to go from this energy, feeling exhausted by this, tired, bored of the stagnancy, no communication, right? Wondering when you're going to get your justice. Um, wondering um, when is somebody going to do the right thing by you, That all of that, right? You go from this energy to this energy, just like that. Okay, so yeah, I feel like um, your wishes are about to be granted. You've, you've been very, very patient, and the universe has seen everything. And they're about to be, the universe is calling for balance in your life. All right? And these two people can't stop this from coming in. Spirit's actually denying them access to you. Okay? Ooh, congratulations, Collective. You made it through a really difficult cycle, and your life is about to change. About to change.